All right, and we are back with the MCQ, ICI MCQs, guys. These are the MCQs. I'll tell you what's, why is this so important. See, ICI is the one who sets the paper, and they have come up with this booklet, which has almost about eighty-five MCQs and seventeen case studies. And if they don't ask questions from here, then why will they give us this such a huge, complicated document? It must have taken them a lot of time to create this as well. so hence this is really important and this has to be done how we will do this is every mcq i'm going to give about 10 20 10 fact seconds 5 seconds 15 seconds depending on how difficult the mcq is and then we will discuss it together guys the idea is that mcqs is not the idea gst getting knowing gst well is the idea while this is an mcq it can be asked to you in any different manner as well so hence when you do this this can be asked to you in a big question also So remember, this is not your 10th standard or your 12th standard. This is your ICI exams. The concepts have to be well known, and we are applying whatever concepts we know in this. So here, we don't have the time to do poll. Honestly, uh, I wish we had the time because there are 18 MCQs and 17 case studies. In the case studies, maybe we'll do a poll. But right now, I just want to finish, and hence, let's at least start. Maybe a poll for the last few MCQs. But right now, let's do this, guys. Okay, so we're starting off with the first one, the first MCQ. I want the section. If if you're giving the answers, of course, the reason also. If you can give me the section, that will be great. Let's do this. The first one, please. Guys, which scheme is a composition scheme? Ten one and ten two, and in Meghalaya, the aggregate turnover should be up to seventy five lakhs. So answer is B. Congratulations. Good job. Let's move ahead. to the second one guys in the second one interstate supplier from madhya pradesh which is not handicraft goods so that normal goods is compulsory required to get registered under gst yes guys is this under section 24 interstate supplies yes irrespective of the aggregate turnover yes one answer is c second one is the c answer next the third one please which of the following supplier services are exempt under gst remember anything which has agriculture associated to it is exempt so testing of agricultural produce supply of farm labor warehousing of agricultural produce All three, yes, all three. So D is the right answer. The fourth one, please. First, you will try, and then we will do this together. Basically, a hotel room. this will be taxable this will be taxable this only this one will be exempt so answer is a 800 per day hotel room remember up to 1000 is exempt next the fifth one itc is not available in respect of which one guys on composition levy on free samples on personal consumption none of them it's available so answer is d 1 2 and 3 sixth one please so has a registered person supplies taxable goods to unregistered person it need not issue a tax invoice so the value of goods is less than 200 guys so answer is not 200 not this not this answer is this 150 this is section 31 3 b if you are very very busy Various taxes have been subsumed in GST to make one nation one tax, one market for consumers. Out of the following, determine which taxes have been subsumed. Basic custom duty, we don't know about it. Lotteries, yes, has been subsumed. So two. Environment tax, we don't know. So only two for now. Yes, only two. Answer is A. Environment tax has not been subsumed, and basic custom duty has not been subsumed. We have not understood that. We have not discussed that because that has not been subsumed. There is a lag. Okay. I'll wait. 
guys let me know once it gets better perfect let's move ahead guys this is the eighth question on the screen services by way of transportation of dash by rail rail doctor nam is exempt guys so pulses is exempt military equipment is exempt electric equipment is not exempt jaggery is not exempt let me tell you rail doctor nam this is railway equipments defense relief newspaper agriculture organic manure and this is milk salt food grains which includes pulses wheat and rice so answer is only 1 and 2 answer is a next the ninth one please services by way of warehousing of dash is exempt guys while they might not be agricultural produce warehousing has been specifically exempted for a lot of other products also tea exempt jaggery exempt beetle leaves exempt processed cashew nuts sorry no anything which is processed we don't give an exemption so 1 2 and 3 this is the answer answer is d gst is not payable by the recipient in the following cases so which of them is not under rcm sponsorship services to abc rcm services by a director of galaxy limited to a krishna not to company guys to an outsider there is a director who is registered and giving services to mr krishna this is under fcm if the director was giving services to the company that was under rcm but they are not giving services to a company they are giving services to a third party services by department of post speed post is also under fcm and recovery agent to a bank is under rcm so answer is 2 and 3 so answer is c 2 and 3 next mr x a casual taxable person who is not involved in handicraft which of the following statements is true guys casual taxable person will he require registration under 24 compulsory yes not required is wrong required is wrong because limit required to get registration wrong compulsory registered under gst irrespective of threshold so d is the right answer The registration certificate granted to a non-resident taxable person is valid for dash number of days or the period specified in the registration whichever is earlier 90 days and same guys can be extended also by maximum 90 days good job c is the right answer Moving ahead which of the following activities shall be treated neither as supply of goods nor as supply of services basically which of them is under schedule 3 permanent transfer of business assets where input tax credit has been availed guys this is not in schedule 3 temporary transfer of ip right not in schedule 3 transportation of deceased yes and employer employee yes so 3 and 4 is the right answer so d is the right answer balance in the electronic credit ledger can be used against payment of only one thing that is tax and that to only fcm tax so output tax and that to only fcm if po interest fees penalty others has to be paid in cash how the aggregate turnover is calculated guys don't go through all of them i'll tell you the answer aggregate turnover is all the outward supplies except iig so the answer is here just read and understand aggregate value of all taxable supplies exempt supplies export interstate having the same pan on all india basis excluding taxes yes 16th one how many days a person should apply for registration under gst apart from provisions of voluntary registration within 30 days so b is the right answer this is section 25 kalim and associates made an application for cancellation of gst registration in the month of march due to closure of business its application was approved on 4th september but the proper officer passed an order for on 14th september so whichever is later um, final return within 3 months of whichever is later so from 14th september october november december so around 14th december this is the right answer guys this one is cancellation so section 29 and final return is under section 45 xylo has three branches jalandhar amritsar and ludhiana all in the state of punjab Amritsar and Ludhiana were engaged in supply of garments. Jalandhar engaged in supply of shoes. Which of the following options are available? Xylo can obtain single registration for Punjab state, declaring any of the branches as principal and the other as additional. Yes, available. Xylo can obtain separate registration for each of the three branches. Yes. Xylo can obtain one registration for one shoe branch and other for other branch. No, that is not the option. So one and two is the right answer. So answer is one and two. 
this is the 18th one over to you all guys now the 19th one what is the validity of the registration granted for a normal taxpayer valid till it is cancelled within how many days an application for revocation of cancellation or registration can be made provided no extension is given as revocation is under section 30 you have to basically apply within 30 days from the date of service of cancellation order can a registered person under composition scheme collect GST on the outward supplies? Absolutely no. Section 10, 1 and 10, 2. Absolutely no is the right answer. In case of goods transport agency services, tax is to be paid under forward charge. Guys, in GTA, they have both the option. If it's 12%, then it has to be paid under forward charge. Which of the following services are not exempt? Yoga camp is exempt. Services provided by business correspondent to rural branch is exempt. Cord blood banks is exempt. Commentator to a recognized third body. This is taxable. Why? Because commentator is not on the ground. This is 23. Which of the following services is supply of services? Transfer of right and goods without transfer of title. This is services. Transfer of title. This is not service. Transfer of title at a future date. This is not service. So right now only one. And last. So only one. Yes, only one. Rama has provided the following information for the month of September. Calculate the aggregate turnover. Aggregate means interstate, intrastate, turnover and payment under GTA. No, not input services, but all these. So 18 plus 2, 23. Next, P Limited has registered offices in the state of Maharashtra from where it ordinarily carries on business of taxable goods. It also has a warehouse in the state of Telangana. What will be the place of business of P under the GST law? As one is in Maharashtra, one is in Telangana. How many registrations required? Two registrations required, both A and B. Next, an exempt supply includes nil rate, yes. Non-taxable, yes. And notification, yes. All three, yes. D, 1, 2, and 3. Which of the following services are exempt? By performance of an artist in classical art forms, painting, sculpture, no painting, sculpture is not exempt. Modern art form, not exempt. Exceeding one and a half lakh, not exempt. So last one is exempt. Music, theater, dance, classical art form, are not exceeding one and a half lakhs. Services by way of admission, the dash is not exempt from GST. Museum, National Park, Tiger Reserve, recognized sporting event by admission ticket cost 600 per person. This one is not exempt. The others are exempt. Discount given after the supply has been affected is deducted from value of taxable supply if it's tick supply or tick discount. Such discount is given as per the agreement. Such discount is linked and proportionate credit is reversed. So A, B and C all answer is D. In which of the following situations this recipient needs to add the input tax credit available for him to his output tax liability. As if you don't pay within 45, 90 or 180 days within 180 days. This is rule 37. So you don't have to pay immediately, you have to pay only and only after 180 days. Sorry, you have to pay only within 180 days, my bad. Which of the following statements is correct? Revocation of cancellation shall be deemed to be revocation of cancellation under GST Act also. Yes, correct. Cancellation under one act shall be cancellation under the other act also. Correct. Revocation under one act shall not be deemed wrong. Shall not be deemed wrong. So one and two is right. This is the answer. If the goods are received in lots and installment, 50% ITC can be taken, sorry. ITC can be available upon receipt of last lot, absolutely right. Section 16 to DRGR. For banking companies using inputs and input services, partly for taxable supplies and partly for exam supplies, which are the following guys, they have two options. One is they can restrict themselves to certain supplies only, or they can take 50%. So they can choose the option A or B, that is 34. A supplier takes deduction, guys, this is section 17.4, if you remember from yesterday, 17.4. A supplier takes deduction of depreciation on the GST. So if you've taken on the GST, if you've taken depreciation, can you take credit? No, you cannot take both. That is section 16.3. No, you cannot take not avail ITC, section 16.3. 36, warehousing services of Dash, guys, I told you warehousing of a lot of products is exempt. Rice, exempt, minor produce, exempt, coffee, coffee, jaggery, all of these exempt. Yes, so answer is 1, 2, 3, 4. But out of these, which is agricultural produce, guys? Not this, not this, not this, not this. Because all have been changed. They are, they are uh, 
all have changed their essential characteristic and this is anyways not an agricultural produce which of the following received in course of furtherance of business without consideration is supply guys without consideration means 71c so you have to look at schedule 1 import of services by a person in india from his well settled son son is always a literate person this is supply import of services by a person in india from his brother well settled this is not a literate person it's not a supply import of services by a person in india from his brother wholly dependent related person so hence a supply and import of services by a person in india from his daughter daughter is also a related person always so 1 3 and 4 answer is 1 3 and 4 perfect guys looking at the 38th one which of the following persons engaged in making intra state supplies from uttar pradesh not eligible for composition levy even though the aggregate turnover does not exceed 1.5 crores so which of the following are not eligible for composition levy he is eligible he is eligible trading in ice cream um eligible repairing electronic items is not eligible right 102a they can take 101 and 102 can't trading is ice cream is okay manufacturing is not okay so answer is d yes answer is d slightly tricky question remember casually needing ice cream studying income tax online they cannot be providing services the time of supply of service in case of reverse charge is guys time of supply for reverse charge service so section 13 reverse charge is 3 recipient pays in 31 entirely remove recipient make it 61 so date of payment Entered in the books of accounts or bank account, and sixty-first day, whichever is earlier, yes, whichever is earlier. Which of the following service does not form under a uh, nine-three that is RCM, arbitrary tribunal to business entity RCM, sponsorship services to a partnership firm RCM, sponsorship services to a body corporate RCM, renting a motor vehicle for passengers provided to a resident other than body corporate. This is FCM. So answer is D. Which of the following services are exempt from GST? Admission to a circus exempt. Interest charge on credit card taxable. So this is A is the right answer. Right now, services by way of organizer to any person, respect of business exhibition held in India taxable. Services by way of foreign diplomatic mission. So A and D is the right answer. One second, there seems to be some mistake. Sorry, circus is five fifty, so it's taxable. My bad. So answer is only D. Service by way of foreign diplomatic mission. Just one second, guys. All right. ITC of motor vehicles used for making dash is allowed. ITC is allowed on what transportation of goods? GST, please. Passengers, transportation, yes. Uber, Ola, etc. Imparting training on driving, yes. All three, one, two, and three. Guys, we've reached the halfway mark. On 85 MCQs, we've already done with 42. It's honestly not a very difficult task. It's only a mental game. The moment you see 85 MCQs, you start giving up. All right. So let's do this. Which of the following persons are required to obtain compulsory registration? Over to you all, guys. confusing and that's why i highlighted it in green Guys, who is required to obtain compulsory registration? Section twenty-four. Persons exclusively engaged in RCM supplies not required. Persons making interstate supply of services up to twenty lakh not required. Taxable supply of services other than special category straight to e-commerce operator up to twenty lakhs not required. But here, guys. Persons who are taxable supply of goods or services or both on behalf of other taxable persons. So, if your principal is taxable, your compulsory is supposed to require yes. An NRTP is required to apply for registration. How many days in advance, guys? At least five days in advance. So, this is answer five days in advance. Answer is C. Forty-fifth question. 
registration certificate granted to casual taxable person is valid for period applied for or 90 days whichever is earlier 46 in case of taxable supply of services by an nbfc to other than a distinct person invoice shall be issued within how many days guys due rate of invoice section 31 2 generally it's 30 days but for banks etc nbfc is 45 days so answer is 45 days whether goods being sent or taken on approval for sale or return are removed before the supply takes place, the invoice shall be issued within how much time? Before at the time of supply or maximum 6 months. Perfect. Earlier. Invoice shall be prepared in triplicate for supply of goods and duplicate in supply of services or so triplicate and duplicate. Which of the following shall be discharged first while discharging the liability of a taxable person as previous period, current period or 73-74? First will be previous period. The due date for filing the final return. Final return is when you are shutting down the business. It is 3 months from the date of cancellation or date of can order whichever is later. This is section 45 GSTR 10. Which of the following statements is true? Please read and answer which of the following statements is true. Grandparents are never considered as related, wrong. Always considered, wrong. They are considered as related if they are only dependent, absolutely right. C is the right answer. Alcoholic liquor for human consumption is subject to what guys? Alcoholic liquor GST will not apply but excise duty will apply, central sales tax will apply. Both A and B, yes both A and B, GST is never applied, GST is JN, remember that. Mr. A has a tax invoice for services received by him. If in its input tax credit is lost, if the ITC is not availed, what is the expiry of ITC under 16.4 guys? September return due date or the annual return filing date whichever is earlier that is the due date here also for making changes to the returns also everything this is the due date itc shall not be available in respect of personal consumption no itc is blocked under 17 to g ghar pe. membership of a club provided by employer to its employees blocked under 17 to b and travel benefits provided to employees again company's internal policy only guys if it was statutorily required means by law not by internal policy this is also blocked 17 to b so all three are blocked yes d 1 2 and 3 which of the following is not considered as goods guys goods is everything except ims 10 pesa is goods yes shares are not goods yes shares is not goods they want which are not goods and lottery tickets are good so only two is the right answer yes guys very tricky so how do you answer this first write goods and see which all are goods 10 paise is goods lottery tickets is goods so they want which are not goods the not goods are only one that is shares of unlisted company any shares are not goods next Mr. Ram, a jeweler registered in Mumbai wants to sell his jewelry in a trade expo in Delhi which of the following statements is false he needs to get registration in Delhi as a CTP, yes. He needs to pay advance tax, yes. He needs to mandatorily have a place of business in Delhi, no. He needs to file his GSTR 1, IFF and GSTR 3B, yes, he has to file. So only C is the answer which is wrong. Which of the following is treated as exempt supply under CGST Act? Exempt means 3 and sale of liquor is exempt, yes. Sale of healthcare by hospital is exempt, yes. Transmission of electricity is exempt, yes. All three are exempt, yes. Which of the following is a recognized system of medicine? Hunase, guys. Allopathy, Yunani, Siddha, all three. Yes, all three because Hunase is the shortcut. Which of the following services is exempt under healthcare services? Guys, please read and tell me which of them is exempt. Chemist shop selling medicines to public guys this is taxable 
food supplied by patient to in patient this is exempt food supplied to outsiders taxable advertisement services everything else is taxable only b is the right answer in case of supply of goods for 5 lakh following information is provided advance received on one guys there are goods so section 12 and this is forward charge so section 12 to i demand payment payment is to be ignored invoice date or due date of invoice guys what is the invoice date 15th april and what is the due date by when goods were removed they were removed on 25th april so what is the time of supply 15th april answer is b that's how quickly you can get your answers if you know the section and the concepts well guys quick is not the point correct is the point sham limited located in mumbai is receiving legal services what is the time of supply guys legal services is service it's under rcm so recipient pays in 61 entirely what is the payment date payment debited in the bank account 5th may payment entered in the books of accounts 1st may so 1st may is the payment date invoice issued on 15th april 61 days 15th april to 15th may and 15th may to 15th june 15th june or 1st may what is the answer 1st may which of the following is not eligible for opting composition scheme guys read and tell me which of them is not eligible for composition scheme guys selling garments in ahmedabad up to 75 lakh definitely can take because he is trim operating a restaurant 98 lakhs in delhi can take courier service company guys this is not trim so cannot take grocery items can take so only c is the one which cannot take 62 63 assuming that all the activities given below are undertaken for a consideration state which of the following is not a supply of service renting of commercial office space taxable supply of service an employee agreeing to not work for the competitor after leaving employment guys after leaving employment it's a service repairing a mobile phone service provision of services by an employee to employer in the course of employment during employment is not service nor goods this is not taxable this is the right answer During the month of May, Z Limited sold goods to Y Limited. So this is Z. They sold goods to Y Limited for two lakh fifty five thousand and charged GST at eighteen percent. However, owing to some defect in the goods, Y Limited returned some goods by issuing a debit note of forty thousand in the same month. Z Limited records the return of goods. Out of two lakh forty fifty five forty thousand worth of goods are returned. So now the supply is only two lakh fifteen thousand. In this situation, GST liability of Z. How much will Z have to pay to the government? The return and both the things have happened in the same month. So on two lakh fifteen, eighteen percent. Guys, please calculate. Eighteen percent of two lakh fifteen is thirty-eight seven hundred. So answer is thirty-eight seven hundred. Good job, Asma. Next, sixty-five. C N Company, a registered supplier in Delhi. So this is C. opted for composition levy under guys this is a very interesting question please read it and try and answer it yourself very interesting i'll wait for right answers please over to you all but there's a trick in this question watch carefully
yes please waiting for the right answer there are only four answers one of them is right guys this is what makes ICI questions slightly tricky and tough it's a small trick guys it's a very easy question Please tell me, is he a normal scheme or is he under composition scheme, guys? Is he under the normal scheme or is he under composition scheme? Composition. So, guys, will the composition scheme guy get any credit? Guy three, good answer. Will the composition scheme get any credit? No. So, will it matter, guys, what he's purchased? No. So. C and company purchase goods from Ramesh and company. All this does not matter, guys. All this is given only to confuse you. See the first line, guys. He's in the composition scheme levy. And what is the turnover sold goods in this quarter for how much? 15 lakhs. So what rate will he pay, guys? How much do composition scheme people pay? 1%, 5%, 1%. Is he a restauranter? No. So 1%. That means on 15 lakh into 1% but divide by 2 because CGST has GST so answer is A7500 7500 this is how simple it is and guys this is what makes ICI questions difficult because if this comes in the exam people say oh the exam was so tough but they don't realize that they are missing out on concepts application of concepts this is your application of concept all right Mr. Raghu avails services of Mr. Raja, a chartered accountant as under. So this is Raghu and he is availing services of a CA as under. The CA has provided audit for 55,000. The CA has provided tax audit of 10,000. And the CA has provided income tax return filing of Raghu's wife for 5,000. Guys, will the CA, if the CA is registered, will he charge GST on all three services? Yes. All the above amounts are exclusive of GST and the applicable rate is 8%. The accountant of Mr. Raghu has booked the entire expense of 70,000 plus GST in the books of account. Guys, can you take 5,000 which is for the Raghu's wife? Can you take credit of that? No. So only on this will you be able to take credit. So on 65,000 into 18%. So only on 11,700. Moving ahead, TT Private Limited, which is registered in Rajasthan, furnished the following information for the month of June, GST liability payable in cash. So first guys, this is TT, they are making some supplies, please tell me the value of supply and does supply lead to a liability? What is the value of supply? Please tell me what is the value of supply made, outward supply and does it lead to a liability? The value of supply is 1,25,000, absolutely right. This is interstate sale, this is purchase, purchase, I am not talking about purchase, I am talking about supply. Supply means outward supply, 1,25,000. You are in Rajasthan, this is in Haryana, so what will be the IGST or CGST and SGST guys? it will be IGST and what is the rate 18% so please calculate the GST and tell me where should I write it in my liability which liability is it 22,500 of IGST this is my liability yes on my supply I have liability next Guys, what are they purchasing in, in point number two? What are they purchasing? From where are they purchasing? From Punjab and they are in Rajasthan. So will purchase give you credit? Please tell me, will purchase give you credit? Yes. So please tell me on 40,000, what is the credit and which column should I write it? 7,200 IGST, perfect. And next tell me what is the third point purchase guys where are they purchasing from in the third point Rajasthan only so what is the credit and how much should I write in CNS 5850 5850 excellent so guys is your liability and your credit both ready are you ready with it yes 
which is the only bill that you need to pay guys which is the only bill that you need to pay only igst so first what will be used guys first igst will be used next can i use 5850 also can see can the children help the parents yes this also this also so 5850 and 5850 guys please minus these three amounts from 20 to 500 what is the final amount 3600 of what 3600 of igst so that's your answer this is an eight mark question generally in your payment chapter this is the first question when you see exam questions very very good question guys this is one of the most difficult questions please read and please tell me who is the supplier in this case and who is the recipient Who is the supplier, guys? Pradeep Traders is the supplier, and who is the recipient? Balram Private Limited. The sale is interstate, so I GST of two lakh five thousand. And how much is the GST on this, guys? Five percent on the set goods. Don't cal do any calculations, guys. You know, first understand, and then we'll calculate. As for the terms of the sales contract, Pradeep Traders has to deliver the goods at the factory of Balram. Guys, do they have to deliver it to Balram? Yes. So, even the transport will be included in this price only. You know guys, tax these items in supply. So, even transport will be included. How much is the transport freight charged? 2400 But transport has a different rate, 12%. So, please tell me, will I apply 5%? or will I apply 12%? This is a composite supply where the main supply is supply of goods which is at 5%. So on this entire thing, it will be at 5%. Nikita, please pay a little more attention. This is a composite supply, 2,700,400. ,00 on this, there will be 5%. As please calculate, 107,370 is the IGST. Very, very tricky question. By zero, I'm changing one thing. As for the terms of the contract, Pradeep Traders has to deliver the goods at the factory of Pradeep Traders only. Guys, at the factory of Pradeep Traders. That means now, please tell me, are you supplying goods? Yes. But are you delivering it to Balram? No, you're not delivering it to Balram. Balram will come and pick it up from your place. Yes. So now, guys, Will the freight be added to your value or will the freight be added to the GTA's value? It will be, there are two supplies. One is goods and the other is GTA supplying to Balaram. Services were 2400. Now please tell me, guys, please tell me if you understand, are there two supplies now? Yes. So on 2 lakh 5, I will charge 5% and on GTA, I will charge 12% because they've given 12%. So very good question. In fact, I've highlighted this in green. If you want, after the session, I will also upload this MCQ booklet on uh, the common portal and even the answer sheet on the common portal. So you get access to these. Next. Perfect. Guys, read an answer. Over to you all. Please read an answer. So very simple question guys, they are talking about revocation. How many days do you have for revocation guys? So please calculate 30 days and tell me the answer. Very logically guys, whenever you get the order, only then you will know it's cancelled. So the date will start only from 31st July, that is 30th August is the right answer. Alright.
perfect next one is very very interesting guys please read and please tell me who is the supplier in this case PC Traders is supplying and who is the recipient? XX is the recipient and they are supplying books. XX is in Delhi, this is in UP, so it is interstate supply. Books are exempt from GST, okay. XX arranged the transport of these books from a goods transport agency which charged a freight of 9,000 on the same. Guys, is this one supply or are there two different suppliers? Let me ask you in another way, is XS going to pay the freight of 9000, is it going to pay to Precy traders or is it going to pay paying to the goods transport agency? GTA, so there are two different supplies. So this one, books will be exempt but on 9000 at 5%, so will it be under RCM? Yes. So 9000 into 5%. 450 will have to be paid under RCM. Yes, that is very very good question. If ICI is putting such questions in the uh, in the ICQ booklet, they are expecting you to know these kind of questions. All right. Next, Sahil is a resident of Delhi and is having a residential property which is given on rent. Guys, residence given on rent is it taxable or is it exempt? Exempt. Perfect. So guys, you are very good at these direct questions, but the moment a question comes indirectly, you are getting very confused. So be very, very sure of your concepts. Next, goods includes which one guys? Are actionable claims goods? Goods include everything except IMS. So actionable claims, yes. Growing crops, agreed to be severed, yes. Money, no. Securities, no. So answer is one and two. Next, whether he is required to obtain registration if the aforesaid goods are not handicraft goods. So please tell me guys, will Mr. Z of Himachal Pradesh require registration? Over to y'all please. First check 24 and then check 22. Excellent, good answer Gayatri, very quick also. Yes, please. Guys, first compulsory registration. Is he required to compulsory register? Intrastate, no compulsory. Supply of exempted goods, not compulsory. But interstate supply of goods, which are not handicraft, compulsory registration. Yes, guys. Irrespective of turnover, you require compulsory registration. Next, determine which of the following independent cases will be treated as deemed supply even if made without consideration. So 7-1-C over to y'all. Please read and tell me which of them are supplies. Excellent. Only AB and Associates transfer stock to its Mumbai branch to Kolkata depot. This is supply because given to deemed distinct person. Raghuvir is permanently transferring ACs, but guys, sorry, he's formally transferring motor vehicle, but ITC on the motor vehicle is blocked. So it's a permanent transfer, but he's not taking any credit. So this one will not be supply. And employee, employer gift up to 50,000 is not a supply. So answer is one. Last 10 MCQs guys, please put all your attention to this one. Compute the amount of ineligible input tax credit. So out of these guys, which of them is not eligible? Please tell me the answer A, B, C, D. It's a company which manufactures motor car.
Guys, general insurance taken on cars will be allowed because he's a manufacturer, he deals in them. Buses 23 will be allowed. Life and health statutory obligation will be allowed. So only outdoor catering is not allowed. So 350 is the only one which is not allowed. I was expecting more answers and more right answers guys. Let's do this. Which of the following statements are incorrect? Over to you all guys. Which of the following are incorrect? If the supplier has erroneously declared a value which is more, so if the QTV is more, can you cut it by issuing a credit note? Yes, so this is right. If the supplier has declared some special discount which is offered after the supply is over, he cannot issue a credit note? Absolutely right. If the quantity received by the recipient is more and the QTV what has been stated is less as what you received is more so on the quantity tax invoice on the invoice is less so you will increase it by issuing a debit note yes so answer is fourth is wrong this is the only incorrect one there is no time limit to declare the details of debit note in the return yes there is a time limit 20th October or the annual return filing date whichever is earlier so only this one is the wrong answer Difficult question and hence in green guys before the exam if you don't get time at least do the green ones and at least move ahead for the green ones This we've already done miss Pearl, so I'm not doing it again. This is one of the uh, module questions She's basically this is a time of supply question and it is an FCM service. So section 13 to IP or PP and she has basically the event was organized on 10th October the invoice was issued on 25th November so it's late so it's basically based on provision and payment but there are two payments so you will do this twice ABC limited generated an eBay bill on the 12th of February it used over dimensional cargo for a distance of 100 kilometers guys if you are giving over dimensional cargo then the validity is 20 kilometers per day so 100 kilometers so if 20 kilometers in one day then for 100 kilometers you need five days yes so from 12th 12th is generated after 12th 13th 14th 15th 16th 17th so 17th midnight it will expire when the validity of the e bill will expire 17th midnight This already we've done, exempt supply includes nil, non-taxable and notification. This we've done already, it's a repeat question. As the last few five MCQs, everyone pay attention. Please read this and please answer. Ram, an individual based in Gujarat, is in employment. Guys, very difficult question, so let me help you. He is in employment and he is earning 10 lakh as salary. Guys, salary is not taxable. He is also providing consultancy services to different organizations on growth and expansion. His turnover from the supplier service is 12 lakh. So basically, he is a service provider in Gujarat, so 40 lakh limit does not apply to him. 10 lakh limit lot does not apply because you know, he is not in NT Mami so his limit is 20 lakh and he's just crossed 12 lakh salary is not supply so hence he's just crossed 12 lakh so he's not required as services and therefore aggregate turnover is less than 20 lakh 
important and slightly different but this if this exact same comes in the exam after this you should be able to know in the exam how to spot this guys 85th question please read and please answer you being a chartered accountant advise whether he can do that means he whether he can take composition scheme he is a dealer of seeds and chemical fertilizer seeds are exempt guys is he trim yes casually needing ice cream studying income tax online he cannot be supplying non taxable but exempt is okay yes so he can take it yes yes since his aggregate turnover is less than 1.5 that is the assumption so answer is a yes guys this one ash and company is a manufacturer of hardware items he purchased a machine on the 1st of june 2020 for 59000 when 9000 was gst so does he have taken credit of gst yes in the month of june yes with the promise that he is going to use it for 60 months guys remember yesterday section 186 s for 6 s for sale but on the 1st of january 2022 after one and a half years he sold the machine to an unrelated party for 47200 So on the sale price, his GST is seven thousand two hundred. So he has to pay that, or he has to reverse the GST. Guys, earlier GST was nine thousand. You have to minus five percent per quarter. So he bought it in June. So April, May, June, one quarter. July, August, September, October, November, December, three quarters in twenty twenty. The next year, four quarters. One, two, three, four. And now first day of January, so one more quarter, so three, four, seven, eight quarters, so eight into five percent, forty percent you have to remove. Forty percent is okay. So balance is five thousand four hundred. So which will you actually pay to the government? Seven thousand two hundred, whichever is higher. I repeat, guys. Whenever you're selling the selling any capital goods on which you've taken ITC within sixty months, then on the sale price, whatever is the GST, or whatever quarters you used it, no problem. But the balance quarters you have to reverse. Whichever is higher, you will pay this to the government. So this is seven thousand two hundred. Guys, next is very simple. Please read and please answer the next one. Don't get lazy, guys. listening to tax is great but doing tax is even better you have to do the question in the exam also and here as well perfect guys he's bought a machine worth 17 lakh 70 and gst it has capitalized the full amount so basically he's going to take full depreciation so no itc absolutely right next guys is 84 over to you all footwear in meghalaya he will also make supplies through e-commerce operator gst registration is it compulsory yes compulsory because you are selling through e-commerce operator so you will be selling interstate so yes compulsory and the last question guys of this mcq booklet after that case study start very very happy to do this let's do this while conducting the gst audit of vishwas bank It was discovered that the bank has not charged GST on certain supplies made by it. In this respect, determine which of the following supplies made by the bank is taxable. Guys, bank is exempt. Which is taxable? Discount on bills, exempt. Interest charged on loans, exempt. Interest on credit cards is taxable. Sale on foreign currency amongst banks is exempt. So C is the right answer. And with that. in just about 1 hour less than that also guys we've covered 
85 MCQs. Good job, but don't give it up. I'm recording this lecture and putting up on my YouTube channel as well. Watch it whenever you want to revise. One hour investment is going to pay a lot of dividends in your exam. If they have come up with 85 MCQs, I promise you one, two, three, four, five, how many ever concepts from this will be there in your exam for sure. All right, with that guys, again, we will take a five minute break. We will come back and we'll enter into the world of case studies. There are 17 case studies. We'll do as many as we can in this session right now and in the upcoming session. Very important guys. All the concepts you already know, it's time to apply. And till you apply, you will never know the concepts well. So let's do this in five minutes. Let's continue. Thank you so much. Five minutes and then we are back. Instead of five minutes, guys, let's take a 10 minute break because I want to eat something. So 10 minute breaks for 10 minutes break for everyone, please. All right, and we are back. Guys, you're back with the MCQs, but now case study based MCQs. So this is what is important. But why are we only focusing on MCQs? Because guys, these are not only MCQs. These are concepts that are being tested, which you will use even in your other questions. So this is what we are looking at. This is a typical case. The first one, we will first read the case. And then there are about four questions that we need to answer. So that's how we will do this case study. Everyone, let's start reading. And when we read anything that is important, we will underline. Guys, I'll tell you how much time we have. We have three hours in the next session. That is about 180 minutes. And we have about 40 minutes now. So we have 220 minutes divided by 17 case studies. So we have about 12 minutes or 30 minutes maximum per case study. So what we will do is I will first read out this first case study we'll do it together. Otherwise, I will give you first five minutes to do it yourself and then we will do it together. Perfect. Let's do this. Mr. Pasupati registered taxpayer under GST. So this is P who is registered is engaged in trading of various types of consumer goods. His turnover in the preceding financial year was below the threshold limit. So basically he was a small business entity last year. Very, very interesting question guys. So this is Pasupati. He is registered right now, but last year his turnover was below. So he was a small business entity. Remember that. During the month of April in the current year, he availed the following services. So these are all being availed. First one, GTS services of 35,000 GST charged at 5%. So please tell me guys, RCM or FCM? This is RCM. So he will have to pay GST. Yes. On 35,000 at 5%. This is under RCM. Yes. This is under RCM. Renting of go down from local municipality guys when the government rents a mobile property to a registered person again RCM. So on that 40,000 there will be RCM as well. This is RCM. This is RCM. Legal service from a firm of advocates guys. This also should be RCM. But here this is a small business entity. So hence it will be exempt. So this one will be exempt. 40,000 and 35,000 will be RCM. I hope this is clear. Let's move ahead. He sold a car which was used for his personal purposes for 1 lakh. Guys, for personal purposes, that means would you have taken credit? No. So if you are selling, will there be GST? No. He disposed of his old computers for 60,000 on which no ITC has been claimed. Again, if you dispose of your old computers on which ITC was not claimed, then that will also not be supplied. He also gave away stock of old consumer goods amounting to 75,000 on which he had claimed ITC to an office home. Guys, when you donate, will there be any consideration? No, 71C. But guys, this is a permanent transfer of something on which you had claimed ITC. So will you have, will this be a supply? Yes, this 75,000 will be a supply. Again, repeating, 1 lakh will not be a supply because it's a personal car. This was will not be a supply because on this there was no ITC, but this one 
there will be a supply this will be 71c because you're donating it to an orphanage and you've taken itc next he received some goods on 1st of may that are liable to tax under reverse charge so goods under reverse charge recipient pays in 31 entirely received the goods on 1st may invoice was issued on the 5th of may so 31 days from 5th of may is 5th of june this is 1st may payment for the same was made on 6 june and entered in the books of account on 7 june so this is 6 june so 6 june or 5th june or 1st may so answer is 1st may i'm just preempting the question this will be 1st may next he paid repair expenses for truck which was used for transportation of goods is the truck allowed as a vam yes so will repair gst will also be given itc yes the gst component was 13000 so will you get itc of 13000 yes he arranged for catering for his workers on labor day and the paid the bill on which the gst component was 15000 on food it will not no gst unless statutory required there is no statutory requirement and he received the first lot of certain goods. If it's the first lot, then you will not get credit. You will get on the last lot. All the amounts given above are exclusive of taxes. All the supplies are intrastate. Condition necessary for ITC, that is 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, have been uh, availed. Based on the following information, based on the above information, choose the most appropriate answer. Let's see. Determine the value of services which are taxable under reverse charge. Guys, under reverse charge, very, very good question. GTA services, reverse charge, yes, 35,000. And renting of go down reverse charge, yes, 40,000. Not this, why? Because you're a small business entity and hence RCM is only 75,000. Answer is your 75,000. In respect of sale of personal car and disposal of computer and stock of goods, total value of supply, Personal car, no. Disposal of computer, no. But stock of goods to an orphanage, yes. That is again 75,000 orphanage. So hence that is supply, yes, 75,000. Time of supply of goods received by Pashupati. Time of supply is 1st of May, we've already calculated. Recipient pays in 31 entirely. And compute the amount of input tax credit that can be claimed. Guys, he can claim only and only one input tax credit, 13,000. These two he cannot. So answer is 13,000. These are the four questions and these are the three and four answers. Why not 50,000 for advocates? Because if you remember, legal services when provided to a big business entity only is taxable under RCM. Big business entity, Pashupati is not. Pashupati last year, their turnover is below threshold limit, so they were small business entity. Perfect, so that's the answer guys. Next, moving ahead to the next one now. Here, guys, the second one is on the screen, here we go. The same thing we will do guys, you will get 5 minutes to read this question and then we will discuss it and then we will move ahead over to you all in the next 5 minutes please.
All right, guys, let's do this. Messrs. Vittal and Company, a registered supplier under GST, is dealing in supply of taxable goods in the state of Karnataka. So this is Vittal and Company. They are registered and they are in Karnataka. The firm has opted for composition scheme from April month of last financial year. Its turnover crossed 1.5 crores on 9th of May. So 9th of May, they are now out of the composition scheme. So now they will they pay GST to the government? Yes. And now will they get ITC? Yes. And on the stock, will they get ITC? Yes. Even on the capital good? Yes. Vittal and Company removed goods on 10 June for delivery to Suri and Company on sale on approval basis. So they are making a supply on which they will have to pay GST to the government on sale on approval basis on 10 June. The Suri and Company accepted the goods on 15 December. Guys, here these are goods. So section 12 and this is FCM. So section 12 to I demand payment. Payment you have to ignore. I is invoice date. What is the invoice date? We don't know. And what is the due date of invoice? Guys, in case of sale or return, either whenever it's approved or maximum six months. So when does six months acquire from 10 June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 10th of December. So this 15th of December, no, the maximum time of supply is 10th of December by which the invoice should be issued. And this is the time of supply as well. The firm has paid GST for various items during the month of August. That means paid GST means these are all purchases. GST or input services intended to be used for personal purposes. You will not get ITC on this. Next purchase, GST pays on purchase of motor vehicle for business use. Being two wheeler having engine capacity of 25 cc, you will not get on this. GST paid on purchase of computer 19,000. GST portion was included at par cost to claim depreciation. Guys, on depreciation, if you're claiming, you will not get GST on this. So GST ITC will be zero. During May, Vittal and Company had reversed ITC of 10,000 for not making payment to vendors within the time. Guys, will you have to recredit or sorry, will you have to reverse it if you don't pay within time? Yes. So we had they had reversed 10,000. This pending payment was cleared in the month of August. So finally, will you again get the recredit of 10,000 in the month of August? Yes, but interest is gone. Yes. Out of the purchases made an ITC avail during earlier months, there the following information is made available as on September. So guys, on September, you had three purchases from XYZ, from ABC and PQR. These are three suppliers. And while you've already taken the credit, you have not paid them for 165, 199 or 99 days. Guys, which is the problem area? 199 days. So in this month, you will have to reverse back or pay back 15,000. Yes, you'll have to pay back 15,000. Vittal and Company received accounting services from Raghu and Company, an associate enterprise located in Sri Lanka. Guys, this is Bahar Se services from an A. When you get services Bahar Se from an A, you know this is under RCM, that is recipient pays in 31 entirely. It is service, so remove R and make it in 61. But because from an associate enterprise, you will not focus on invoice lag. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait, guys. I'll wait, guys, if there's lag. Okay, I hope it's better now, guys. Let me know if it's better now. Perfect. Sometimes we lag, sometimes our computer lags. So let's get back. So now because, guys, so just recapping this, this is basically services from outside India, Bahar Se. So it's on the, under RCM. So recipient pays in 61 entirely. So, but because it's from an associate enterprise, the invoice will be ignored. It's almost like going to your uncle's shop. He will not give you an invoice. So invoice has to be ignored. So payment date or entry date, whichever is earlier. Invoice doesn't matter. 10th October is the entry date and 30th September is the payment date. So answer is 30th September for time of supply. All the supply referred above is intrastate. Conditions applied for ITC are fulfilled. This is a common point. You don't have to read it at least now. Yes, let's see the first question. 
Vital and company needs to furnish a statement containing details of stock of inputs etc. As once they withdraw from the composition scheme, within seven days they need to intimate, and within thirty days they need to give a statement of the stock so the government can give them credit. By when do they need thirty days from when, guys? Thirty days from whenever they are out of the scheme. So they are out of the scheme on ninth of May. So basically by the eighth of June. Eighth of June is the right answer. In respect of goods sent on sale or return basis, Vital and Company shall issue the invoice by. Is what is the due date of invoice? The due date of invoice is six months from ten June, that is tenth December. Determine the amount of eligible input tax credit that can be availed by Vital and Company. As Vital and Company unfortunately can't avail any credit during this month, so answer is nil. Here is the answer. Answer is nil. Compute the amount of ITC to be reversed for the month of September, as there were three supplies for which payment was pending. But this is the one which is problematic, so fifteen thousand will be reversed. Yes, fifteen thousand. And time of supply in respect of associate enterprise is thirtieth September, which we already had preempted and we calculated thirtieth September. So that's the answer, thirtieth September. Perfect. So that's two case studies down, guys. We are now moving ahead to the next case study. Again, I will give you five minutes to do this on your own. One minute to read this, four minutes to read what's on the next screen. Let's start right away, guys. Please read. Five minutes is all you have before we start doing this together. Next, guys, on this page is the next one. Please continue reading slowly and steadily. If you don't read this paragraph, it's okay. It's a common paragraph, so this one is okay. Till here, you got to read in the next three minutes, please. All right, guys. Let's do this together. This one is the last one that we will do. After that, we'll take a break and then we will continue. So this is the next one. Messrs. Trimbuck and Company, an LLP, registered dealer under GST, is engaged in various types of business activities. It provided GTA services to government department registered under GST. For providing various services for which GST is payable under at five percent, but it's to a government department, so hence this will be exempt. The firm provided services of direct selling agent to NBFC located in Mumbai. This also will be exempt. Here, this is Trimbak and Company. 
The firm also provided gift gift to each of the employees using a valuing fifty thousand once in a financial year. Up to fifty thousand gift is also exempt. So all the three supplies till now were exempt. Mrs. Thimbuck and Company let out its warehouse to Mr. Grunesh, who in turn let it out to an agriculturist for warehousing of agricultural produce. Ultimately, is being used for agriculture, so this is also exempt. The firm also undertakes milling of paddy into rice. Guys, this is not exempt. Conversion of milling paddy into rice is basically changing the essential characteristic, and hence this one will be taxable. The firm paid GST with respect to an order served by the GST authority demanding the pay GST on two counts. Guys, they have been caught for suppression of sales figures. If you don't show a particular sale. your liability will be low and you you will be punished if you get caught so they paid gst of 45000 for this you will never get credit and for fraudulently obtaining refund again 55000 again you will never get credit for these fraudulent things guys you never get credit further in a particular month the gst liability of the firm was 20000 igst so this is the liability let me write it down i c n s Twenty thousand IGST, ten thousand CGST, and ten thousand SGST. The following credits were available: eight, twelve, and five. So, eight thousand here, twelve thousand here, and five thousand were available. Let's see the questions, guys. The first question there is a mistake, so you can ignore it. The second question we are looking at. Gift of fifty thousand in value provided by Trimba to each of the employees will be supply of goods, services, both or neither. Please answer, guys. A, B, C, or D. Answer is D. Neither supply of goods nor supply of services. This is three point two. Which of the following statements is correct? Letting out of warehouse to Grunesh is exempt. Yes. Milling of paddy into rice is exempt. No. Letting out of warehouse to Grunesh is not exempt. No. Milling of paddy into rice is not exempt, right? So first and fourth are the right ones. Answer is C. Trimbak is eligible to claim input tax credit of dash. How much input tax credit can they claim? Forty-five thousand, no. Fifty-five thousand, no. So guys, I have not discussed this actually in the crash course. So it's good that we are discussing it now. Forty-five, fifty-five, one lakh, no, nil. Because if you've paid GST, because the officer demanded it of that you don't get any itc and last compute the gst liability to be paid in cash so let's calculate guys first guys which bill will you pay please tell me out of the three bills which bill will you pay i gst so 8000 here gone 8000 here gone has i gst been exhausted yes it's been exhausted now cns will first help themselves So ten thousand will be paid here. This has been paid. Ten thousand is used here. Yes. So how much credit available? Two thousand credit available. These are all credits. Five thousand used here to pay five thousand here. So how much liability? Now, guys, please tell me where will this two thousand be used? It can't help S, so it can help I. So two thousand will be used here. So here ten thousand. Of I G S T and five thousand of S G S T will be paid in cash. Ten and five I N S. Ten and five I N S. Ten thousand I G S T, S G S T five thousand. This is the right answer. Guys, good job. We've been doing three case studies. We are doing seventeen is the target. Seventeen or eighteen case studies. We'll do all of them. Don't worry. But right now we'll end the session. If you have any questions you can let me know actually what we can do is we can do one more Guys let's just discuss this before we end the session let's just discuss this quickly Over to you all please read this even if we might not do the questions actually let's do it only together Miss Chanchal is a doctor registered under GST having inpatient facility in a hospital as this is a cap she is a cap a doctor She availed interior decoration services from her spouse without any consideration being paid. She also availed IT services from her sister-in-law without any consideration. Both these services for the purpose of her profession. Guys, from the spouse is a relative, but impo from others, sister-in-law, it's not a supply. But from the spouse, it is a supply. 
Ms. Chanchal provided treatment of various diseases in the hospital. Apart from that, she provided the following service in the hospital. Plastic surgery to enhance the beauty of face. Taxable. Ambulance services. Exempt. Renting of space to run medical store. Taxable. She is also a consultant in other hospitals and received 40 lakh as consultancy fee. This is also exempt. Further, she also provides canteen facility and received 55,000 from inpatients, exempt, 35 and 25 taxables. She filed GSTR 3B for the month of June with some errors. She filed the annual return for the said year on 31st October of the next year, whereas the due date for the annual return is 31st December. So what can she change the errors? Right? She can correct the errors but maximum by 30th October. 30th October or sorry, by 20th October. 20th October or the return filing date whichever is earlier so 20th October the proper officer of the department cancelled the registration certificate of Chanchal so motto on 31st July order of cancellation was served on 5th August she applied for revocation how many time how many days 30 days from 5th August this is a common statement no problem guys let's do the MCQs from the information given above choose the most appropriate answer which of the following is a correct statement as per the provision of the CGST Act? Service availed from a spouse is deemed supply. Just one second. Service availed from a spouse is deemed supply. Yes. Service availed from sister law is a deemed supply. No. Service availed from spouse is not deemed supply. Wrong. And service availed from a sister in law is not deemed supply. Right. <clears throat> so one and four are the right answers. Looking at compute the taxable supply, Pritam, welcome to class. Compute the taxable value of supply of canteen services. As taxable is these two 25 and 35, that is 60,000. 60,000 is taxable. By which date Chanchal should have applied for revocation, guys, from the 5th of August, 30 days from 5th of August, that means by 4th September. Maximum time permissible for rectification of error is 20th October of the next year. Yes, because that is earlier. And determine which of the following services is exempt. Plastic surgery? No. Ambulance service? Yes. Renting of space, medical center? No. Consultancy service? Yes. So 2 and 4 are exempt. Yes, 2 and 4 are exempt. Perfect, guys. In just 4 minutes, we could do this. I am really happy with the pace. I hope you are understanding things. Every concept is important here. Good job. Now we will take a good half an hour break. You come back refreshed, eat something, freshen up, come back, charged and enthusiastic for the next session in which we will do more and more of these MCQs. Gentle reminder guys, these MCQs are not mine, not unacademies, not anyone's, but ICIs. So pay a lot of attention and respect the MCQs. One of them will be there in your exam, definitely. So we will come back at 6 o'clock or just 5-10 minutes before 6 and we will continue. Thank you so much. See you guys in half an hour. Alright guys and welcome back. This is the MCQ GST MCQ booklet of ICAI which is very very important to be done. And because people get doubts, good evening everyone. I thought why not do it here and also record it and upload it on YouTube. So all of us have access to this. Perfect. Guys, this is the fifth MCQ. We have to go to about 17th or 18th MCQ. Every time there's an MCQ, we will get about three, four, five minutes for y'all to read it and then we will discuss it together. Over to y'all, the fifth MCQ. If there's something important that you see, example, RCM supply, Example something that is pertinent make a note of it put in the chat box whatever doesn't matter guys But start reading from the fifth MCQ onwards right away right now
So Abhi, I think you mentioned you meant thirty days. Is that what you meant in the first paragraph? Yes. Okay. Let's continue reading. Once you finish reading this, uh, let me know so we can start discussing. Over to you all, please. If you see any RCM or if you see any particular thing, you can always tell me in the chat box. perfect guys once you're done reading let me know so that we can start discussing it done perfect Guys, this is Visali and Company. It's a partnership firm engaged in manufacturing of equipments in the state of Kerala. The firm became liable for registration on 10 July. It applied for registration on 10th August. Guys, that is after 31 days, and hence was granted registration certificate on 14th August. So please tell me what is the effective date. The effective date will be 14th August. We are presuming the questions also. The firm received sponsorship services from Leisure Trade Bay Private Limited for conducting a business expo. So this is sponsorship services. Will it be under RCM? Yes, it's a partnership firm, so it will be under RCM. It received consignment from Safe Logistics or GTA, which charge six percent each. That means twelve percent. So this one will be under FCM. And it also received security services, but from a company. so that one will also be under fcm so both these are under fcm only the first one is under rcm the firm had opted to pay composition levy and its turnover for the quarter ended september was 14 lakhs out of which taxable supply was 10 lakhs and exam was 4 lakh guys in composition scheme uh, exam supply of course there is no gst but on 10 lakhs what rate would apply 1% would apply they are manufacturing so 1% half cgst half sgst The firm made a supply of equipments to an unrelated limited company in the month of October, having market value of twelve, wholesale value thirteen, and maximum retail price fourteen. However, the transaction was made at eleven lakh. So, what is the transaction value? The transaction value is eleven lakh under section fifteen one. The firm belatedly paid the tax amounting to forty thousand for the quarter ended December on ninth Feb. Guys, it's a composition scheme player. So for December quarter they have to pay the GST by 18 Jan. If they pay late, you know there is an interest at the rate of one percent on the amount into the number of days that is from 18 Jan to after 18 Jan that is from 19 Jan. So 31 minus 19 plus one and nine days of February. So on 22 days interest will apply. So this will be the question. Let's see how it pans out. All the amounts given above are exclusive of taxes, whether applicable. This is a common line. Guys, over to the fourth first question. Please answer the first question. This is case study number five, question number one. Guys, the effective date of registration will be D fourteenth of August. Absolutely right. The second question. Among the services available by Ms. Vishali, which of the following services are taxable under reverse charge mechanism sponsorship? Yes, GTA no, security no. So only one. Next, determine the value of supply of equipments. It is not the market value or the wholesale price or the retail price, but it is 11 lakh, which is the finally agreed price. Next, compute the tax payable by the firm for the quarter ended September under CGST on 10 lakh at the rate of 1% and 1%. So 10 lakh into 1% divided by 2, 5000 each. So this is 5000 each, and compute the interest payable on 40000 at the rate of 1% per month. 
sorry, not 1% per month. My bad, guys. I made a mistake there. It's 40,000 into 18% into the number of days of delay. So 31 minus 19 plus 1, 13 days of Jan, 9 days of Feb. So into 22 by 365. If you calculate this, 40,000 into 18%. Divide by 365 into 22 is 433.9, that is 434, answer is B, 434. Excellent job guys, in just about 5-7 minutes we've completed a case study. Good job, excellent, move to the next one. Every case study guys will give you a lesson. There are certain case studies which are absolutely important. I'll just highlight those in green. So let's see from the top which one's the one which is very important. The first one was important yes i'm just going to highlight the case studies which are important the first one was it important yes it was the second one so that if the before the exam you don't get time at least these you can do the second one let's see if this was important yes second one was also important the third one i think was a little easy now the third one is also important. Fourth one was doctor. I think that was pretty simple. And this was fifth one again very simple. So I'm not going to mark this. So this is what is important till now. First, second and third. Now we are going to the sixth MCQ. Everyone let's do this. Two minutes or one minute for this page. Two, three minutes for the next page. And then we will start looking at the answers. Everyone start reading please. Guys, once you're done, let me know. Guys, the moment you get all these details, you know it's time of supply. And the moment you know you get these details, it is supply chapter. Perfect. I hope this is done. Let's move ahead to the next page. The moment you see turnover, you know they want to calculate aggregate turnover. Very, very simple one, guys. Very, very simple. This is a common point. Perfect. Let's start doing this together. Mr. Mandeep is a registered dealer and engaged in the business of supplying construction material in the state of Assam. He availed architect services for his business from his friend in London free of cost. So 71C. Is it for the business purpose? Yes. Schedule 1, but it is not from related person. So this is not a supply. No, this is not a supply. But he also availed designing services from his brother. For personal purposes, guys, again, personal purposes, but this is 5 lakhs, so it will be under 71B. And in B, it doesn't matter whether it's for business or not business, consideration is there. So this one will be supply, yes, on 5 lakh. And he will have to pay under RCM, this on this GST of 5 lakh. On this GST, he has to pay under RCM. He avails services under reverse charge, so section 13.3. Recipient pays in 31 entirely. Recipient goes out. Payment date in 61. Payment date in the books of accounts 15 November, bank account 18 November, so 15 November. Invoice date 1st September, 1st September to 1st October, 30 days, 1st October to 4th, no, 1st November. So 1st November is the time of supply. Next, his turnover taxable exam, both you have to take, yes, 55 plus 16 is basically 71 lakhs is the aggregate turnover. He intends to provide in services other than restaurant services also from the next financial year and to avail composition scheme. Under composition scheme, you cannot supply services unless it's marginal services, which is last year's turnover is 10% or 5 lakhs, whichever is more. So 7.1 lakhs. Let's see the questions now. 
In respect to the services imported by Mandeep, which of the following is a correct statement? Architect services from his friend is not a supply. Is a supply? No. So is not considered a supply? Yes. And designing services is considered a supply? Yes. So two and three are the right answer. Two and three are the right answers. <coughs> Next, determine the time of supply of services. First November, guys, we've already solved it. This is recipient pays in 31. Change it, and we got this answer. Compute the aggregate turnover. It is 75 lakhs. Aggregate turnover includes everything except IIG. And last, Mr. Mandi will be eligible for marginal services up to 7.1 lakhs. Such a simple MCQ. All fingers crossed. Questions like this. But honestly, guys, question like this will make sure everyone gets good marks and they will scale it down. So I'm I'm actually expecting a little tougher question in your exam so that good people will filter in and bad people who are not prepared will filter out. Here it is. Miss Ria is a multifaceted business personality. She is registered under GST from April this year. This is Ria. Let's do this, guys. This is Ria. Please start reading from the top. She supplied. She is right now registered, but she wants to opt for composition levy. She, she wants to switch. But let's see how that happens. excellent question guys covers every every different things covers a lot of different things Guys, once you're done, let me know so we can discuss it together. This is the sixth MCQ that we're looking at. All right, let's do this. Guys, nice. she supplied a package consisting of stapler, calculator, and charger at a combined price of 3800 rupees. The GST rates are 5, 12, and 18. This is mixed supply, and hence 18% will apply. She wants to opt for composition scheme. Can she switch to composition scheme? Yes, but she'll have to forego all her GST. But let's see when that happens. She received the following payments during the month of May, earned 160 by performing a Western music taxable. Earn 50,000 by providing services by rent or residential building for use as a boutique. Guys, taxable. Receive 70,000 by way of renting of agro machinery is exempt. Good answers, Abhi, Gayatri, uh, Nikita, everyone. Ria made a supply during June, details of which are under. Basic price of the product before TCS is 45,000, so that is transaction value 45,000. TCS collected at sources 2500. Do you add it? No, you don't add TCS, you don't add GST. She received a subsidy of 3500 from Green Foundation for usage of green energy, and the subsidy was linked to saving energy. So, yes, it was linked to the supply. Now, here we have to make an assumption, guys. They are saying it was linked to saving energy. So, that means it is not linked to the supply. So we'll have to make a, if you write that this is not linked to supply, then don't add it. If you say it's linked to supply, then you add it. Depends on your assumption. Here, I'm going to say it's not linked to supply because it said it's linked to saving energy. So 45,000 is the transaction value. This is purchases received invoice for goods having GST component 30,000. Goods were to be delivered in five lots, out of which three lots were received. So no ITC. Purchased a car. 
for driving school owned by her you will get itc of 150 availed health insurance for employees on her own voluntary paid gst of 7000 no itc so only 150000 itc all the supplies are interstate all the values are exclusive of taxes let's do the questions over to the questions now what would be the nature of supply and the applicable rate of gst for the supply of package made it is a mixed supply and applicable rate is 18% out of the payments received by ms riya in the month of may exempt supply amounts to what is exempt supply only one agro machinery 70000 that is exempt so this is b next guys just one second next compute the value of supply under section 15 This is a forty-five, but if you say it is linked to your supply, you can also put forty-eight hundred. But they, they have said it's linked to saving energy, not to supply. Compute the amount of ITC that can be claimed. Only one ITC, that is one lakh fifty, can be claimed because for training motor vehicle for training school, and that guys is the end. I'm very surprised. Is the end of the seventh MCQ. Over to the eighth MCQ. All the best. Once you're done reading this, oh, this is such a small MCQ, guys. Nothing in this. So read it quickly, and then we'll move ahead. Just one second.
All right, guys, the 14th MCQ before you. Just one second. Let's do this. Let's begin. Five MCQs and the entire MCQ booklet will be done and dusted. I'll be very happy then. Over to you all, guys. The first three minutes for you all to read this. This is a banking exemption. Uh, about three minutes for this one and one minute for the next page. Over to you all, please. Guys, once you're done, let me know so that we can move to the next page as well. Perfect. All right, moving to the next page as well. And then we will come back. Perfect. Guys, let's do this. This is safe bank. You know, banking's ha banks have a lot of exemptions. This is a safe bank. This is safe bank. They are registered. Now let's see what happens in this case. They receive software support services free of cost from their head office located in UK for business purpose in April. Guys, this is free of cost. So section 71C. Is it for business purpose? It has to be. Otherwise, it won't go in schedule 1. So yes, this is for business purpose. So schedule one, is it coming from abroad from a related person? Yes, it is coming from a head office. So in this case, this will be a supply. Yes. Safe bank provided one high end laptop worth 50,000 to its new managing director as a gift up to 5,000 or gift. There is not a supply at all. Initially, the bank opened 125 branches across India covering various states. In order to secure business, the bank appointed Quick Loan Providers LLP, a direct selling agent on pan-India basis. Guys, they are receiving services from direct selling agents. Direct selling agents are generally under RCM, but guys, for that, only if direct selling agent is an individual here, it is an LLP. So this one will be under FCM. Direct selling agent will be under FCM. I hope you understood why, because only if an individual, then it is under RCM. Otherwise, this is FCM. The bank was in need of services of recovery agents for various retail and personal loans granted by the branches. For this purpose, the bank appointed Fast Recovery Services Private Limited, a recovery agent. Recovery agent services will be under RCM. So there is one RCM recovery agent and one FCM that is direct selling agent. All right. 50,000 worth of supply is a gift to its employee managing director. Gift to employees up to 50,000 will not be a problem. Up to 50,000, I repeat, gifts worth 50,000 rupees from the employer to the employee is not a supply. Safe Bank provided the following details for the month of May in respect of its one of its branches. Guys, these are supplies. Let's see which of these are taxable, which of these are exempt. Interest on term loan, exempt. Guys, can someone calculate the exempt supply, please? And can someone else calculate taxable supply, please? So this one is exempt. Interest on credit card, taxable. Interest on fixed deposit, exempt. Commission received on letter of credit, any commission, service fee, etc. is taxable. Please someone calculate taxable supply and someone else calculate exempt supply. Next. Documentation charges taxable, sale of foreign exchange to another bank is exempt, 
सो प्लीज टेल मी वॉट इज टैक्सीबल सप्लाय टोटल एंड वॉट इज एक्जाम सप्लाय टोटल और राइट टेन लैख फोर्टी फाइव इज टैक्सीबल ओके एंड द बैलेंस हाउ मच इज एक्जाम गाइज फिफ्टीन लैख सिक्सटी ट्वेंटी फाइव लैख एंड टेन लैख सेवेंटी फाइव कैन सम कैलकुलेट All right. All the amounts are exclusive of taxes, and everything is intrastate. Which of the following statements is correct? Receipt of software support services by Safe Bank from HOS Supply. Yes. Issue of laptop to MD is supply. No. Is not a supply. No. Issue of laptop is not a supply. Yes. So one and four are the right answers. Yes. One and four are the right answers. In respect of services available by Safe Bank, the bank shall pay tax under reverse charge. For which of the following services, Quick Loan Providers LLP? No, that is under FCM. And Fast Recovery Services? Yes, that is under RCM. So answer is B. Only Fast Recovery Services. Only a few people will get this, guys. Fifty-one lakh thirty-five thousand. Perfect. Next, guys. Compute the value of exempt supply. Fifty-one lakh thirty-five thousand. And compute the value of taxable supply ten lakh forty five thousand. Good job there, guys. Good job there. Let's do the fifteenth question. Two three minutes for this and two three minutes for the next one. Let's do this. Two minutes for this one. Read once you're done. Let me know so we can move ahead. All right, the next page. Very interesting insurance company making supplies, guys. Keep in mind, anything that is government approved is exempt. Micro life insurance up to two lakh is exempt. Over to you all, please. Once you're done, let me know. I'm sure guys you are still reading it please do one more minute these are all the purchases purchases give you credit
All right, let's do this, guys, from the start. KBC is not Convania Karodpati. It's an insurance company providing life and non-life products across India. The company is carrying on the business with the approval of IRDA to secure its business through various insurance agents spread across India. That's how insurance companies work. Those agents include individuals, firm, LLP, and private limited companies also. However, all of them are licensed under Insurance Act. All this information not required nor important. The company avails services of renting a motor vehicle. For its employees and pan India basis through RR Travels Private Limited, guys, car rental can be under RCM if the provider is not a company, but this is a company and hence this will be under FCM. Next, KBC Insurance provided the following details of insurance business for the month of May: premium received on Pradhan Mantri Jan Dhan Yojana is exempt. Premium received on Aam Admi Bima Yojana exempt. Life micro life product having sum of 2.5 lakh taxable guys. Premium received on group personal policy for self-employed women exempt. Premium received on fire and special perils policies of various business units taxable. Premium received on money back policies taxable. KBC Insurance received a proposal for pandemic insurance for IPL matches from its franchisees. Sum assured for the said insurance was 250 crores. With a premium of 50 lakhs, the company issued the policy on 1st July. Invoice was 5th July. Premium received 14th August. This is time of supply. Insurance is a service, so section 13. It is not under RCM, so section 13-2. IP or PP depending upon invoice. The service was provided on 1st July. Invoice on 5th August. So you are late. Yes, you are late. But guys, banks, NBFCs, insurance companies, do they have 45 days? Yes, they have. This was a trick, guys. This is a trick question. I'll have to highlight this question because this is a trick question. Fifteenth one. So they have forty-five days to issue. Most people will get this wrong. They have forty-five days to issue, and are they on time? Yes, they are on time. So hence, it is IP that is invoice date, fifth August, or premium date, payment date, fourteenth August. So fifth August is the time of supply. Next, KBC Insurance receive the following supplies. So, which of purchases you get credit? GST pays on purchase of car for use of managing director. No, on bus seating capacity of 14 persons. Yes, you will get credit on this. 80,000 on general insurance taken from MIT for motor vehicles for transportation of passengers. Okay, so if the VAM is allowed, then the GST on insurance is also allowed. All the amounts are exclusive of taxes, intrastate supplies. Aggregate turnover of the company is not less than 10 crores for the past three years. Condition S3 for Wilmot of ITC are fulfilled. Perfect. Let's see. Determine the services on which company is liable to pay tax under reverse charge. Services available from insurance agent? Yes. Services available from RR Travels Private Limited? No. None of the services available. Okay. Answer is only A. Why not RR Travels? Because it's a company. Compute the total value of exempt supply provided by KBC Insurance. What is exempt supply? That is one, two, three, five lakh, three lakh, and one lakh. That is nine lakh of exempt supply. Compute the value of taxable supply. So the balance is taxable supply. So four lakh plus seven, eleven plus twelve, twenty-three. Twenty-three, but this one is in August. So only twenty-three for the month of July. For the month of May, so only 23. Sorry, for the month of May, only 23. You know, GST is done month-wise, guys. So month is important. Determine the amount of ITC that can be claimed by KBC Insurance. Uh, they can claim on the car. No, they can claim on the vehicle, uh, which is bus, three lakh and eighty thousand. So three lakh eighty thousand. And determine the time of supply for services provided to IPL franchises. It is the fifth of August. Or 14th of August, whichever is earlier, so 5th of August. Perfect. One more down. One more down, guys. 16th MCQ, please. Over to you all. Two minutes for this, and three minutes for the next page. That's how we will do this. Over to you all. Two minutes for this case study.
perfect over to you all guys the next page please read from here to here and then we'll move down perfect guys here we go aditi and company is a partnership firm registered under gst is undertaking various government projects the firm is let out on hire the following vehicles guys remember the three vehicles a motor vehicle to carry more than 15 passengers to state government electricity department there is no exemption for this this is taxable because only to state transport undertaking an electric vehicle carrying more than 12 passengers to local municipal that is exempt an electric vehicle up to 12 passengers to state transport but this is up to 12 we need more than 12 so this one will be taxable so exemption is only on the second one electric vehicle to local municipal corporation the firm provided the following additional information for the month of october Works contract services were available for construction of immovable property being planned and machinery where the value of GST was one lakh ten. This is what they are receiving inwards. Now, nice. generally, construction of immovable property is not not allowed, but PSP for planned and machinery allowed, for same line of business allowed, and if debited to P&L account allowed. So this one will be allowed. Yes. GST amounting to seventy thousand was paid on account of demand of the department due to fraud in the payment of tax. On this, you will not get any ITC. Goods valuing ten lakhs GST or one lakh were received one eighty days ago, for which payment has been made till date to an extent only of four lakh towards value of forty thousand GST. So, guys, you will have to reverse sixty thousand. So, this one will have to be put in the outward liability sixty thousand, along with interest, of course. The firm issued invoices pertaining to two independent outward supplies, where in one invoice. the value of supply was understated by 75 and another invoice the value was overstated so basically you made supplies first one the qtv was understated that means it was low so you will increase it that is dangerous so for 75000 debit note and another invoice the value was overstated so the qtv was more so you will cut it so it will be 45000 it will be a credit note guys if you do it with shortcuts this is how easy it gets I hope you are understanding, and I hope you are able to understand what I am explaining when I say cut and increase is dangerous. Perfect. The firm received certain supply of goods amounting to eight lakh forty from registered person on which tax payable was under reverse charge. The firm received supply of goods on which tax was on reverse charge basis. So you have to pay the GST in cash. All the amounts are above exclusive of taxes. All the supplies are interstate. Let's see the question. In respect of vehicles let out on hire, services that are exempt from GST are letting out hire motor vehicle to state electricity no, electric vehicle to local municipality yes, electric to state under undertaking no. So answer is only two, answer is only two, which is B. Determine the amount of eligible ITC to be claimed by the firm for the month of October. For the month of October, only one ITC was there, which is one lakh ten thousand. So answer is one lakh ten thousand. Determine the amount of ITC to be added to the output tax liability. Ignore interest, as you have to add sixty thousand to your output tax liability. Because you paid four lakh, so forty thousand is paid. Six lakh sixty thousand is remaining. Which of the following is correct in respect of documents? So seventy five thousand debit note and forty five thousand credit note. So one and four is the right answer. Your C. And last. Which of the following statements is correct? Inspector, supply of goods amounting to eight lakh forty received by the firm, which are taxable under reverse charge. 
guys for reverse charge you have to do the full work so you have to issue a payment voucher also and you have to issue a invoice also so answer is 1 and 2 answer is b that is 1 and 2 good job next question guys almost we've done this question before if you remember mm charitable trust a 3 day yoga camp 7500 this is something that we've done in the module i'm not sure guys as do you all remember this question by any chance no okay let's do it together perfect guys just 1 minute for you all to read this and then 3 minutes to read the next page over to you all please just a minute i'll be back yes please on the next page very interesting case study this one Guys, once you're done with this, let me know so I can move back, read it with you guys, and then we can go to the questions. Guys, by the way, second last case study only.
perfect let's do it together guys mm is a charitable trust which is registered it conducted a 3 day residential yoga camp which you know will be exempt guys because composite supply even though there is food and uh, stay and yoga is exempt for charitable institutions The trust also conducted programs for advancement of education of persons aged 65 years in metro cities. Guys, this one is a trick question. It is for advancement of education, which is great. More than 65 years, which is great, but in metro cities is a problem. This has to be in rural areas, and hence this one is taxable. Next, the trust received the following donations. I'm just going to keep it up here. Yeah. The trust received the following donations on the month of September, guys. This is the trust. They received the following donations. I am telling you. You tell me whether it is supply or not. Mr. Sunil Sharma gave seventy-five thousand rupees, but he put his message donated by Mr. Sunil, owner of Solid Steels, trusted by all. Is there a consideration? Yes, there is a quid pro quo, and hence this is a supply. for the next one love all this one is not a supply because there is no consideration so there is no supply in this case the following are the details of gst payment made by the firm gst of 1 lakh 75 was paid for purchase of motor vehicle for transportation of needy persons seating capacity including driver is 13 guys for vam for passenger it should be more than 13 so this credit is not allowed Whereas two lakh forty five for works contract services for super builders for construction of trust office building, this one is also blocked, not allowed. So nothing allowed, nothing of this is allowed. Mr. M M Charitable Trust also owns and manages a gurudwara. It rented a community hall for rent of eight thousand five hundred. So community hall is exempt. Yes, community hall is exempt. But commercial shop is exactly ten thousand. That's a trick question. Exactly ten thousand is taxable, so shop is taxable. Let's see the questions. Which of the following activities conducted by the trust is exempt? Yoga is exempt. Education is not exempt, guys. Only A is the answer. This is a trick question, and hence a very important question. This is question number seventeen. Next. Determine the value of taxable supply and respect of donation received by the trust. Guys, only seventy-five thousand, not the other one, is taxable because as a quid pro quo. Compute the amount of input tax credit. Sorry, nil input tax credit because on both you will not get. One is basically immobile property and one is exactly thirteen passengers. Renting of com community hall is exempt, while renting of shop is taxable. Answer is B, and that is how we come to the last case study. I think this is the last one. Yes, this is the last one. Perfect, guys. This case study book, along with the solutions, uh, there is a separate book for case study. I have kept the solutions separate so that it's easier to see and compare. I will upload it on the Google Drive, same link, and I will highlight the important ones so you can focus on the important ones more than the others. Perfect, guys. Here, this is the last one. Over to you all. First, you all will read the first. Three four paragraphs, and once you are done, tell me. So we'll read the bottom. All right. If you are done, done with this, guys, last two paragraphs, and then we will do this together, and then we will look at the questions as well.
Yes. Last case study, guys. Mr. Dev is engaged in the supply of tiles and marbles in the state of Telangana. He is not registered under GST. He commences business from July month. So this is Dev who is not registered right now. He availed Godown Construction Services for business from his brother-in-law who was dependent on him. He also availed professional consultancy services for the purpose of business from his son who was a chartered accountant and his son was not dependent on him. His brother-in-law is not a relative but son is a relative so this will be a supply. Mr. Dev did not pay anything for both the services. On the basis of advice of his son, Mr. Dev made the supply of tiles within his state only. He reached a turnover of 7 lakh on 31st October. However, he planned to expand his business to other states since he received decent orders from other states also. So for other states guys, interstate you have to compulsory register. During the month of December, he received a consignment of tiles from Rajasthan through prompt couriers, carriers, a goods transport agency based in the state of Rajasthan. So basically, he is in Telangana and he received some services from a GTA who is based in Rajasthan. Goods were dispatched by the supplier on two pay basis for freight. Two pay means the dev has to pay for the freight. Freight charges were 50,000 and the GTA pays 12%. So this is under FCM. So GTA will pay under FCM. Mr. Dev paid the invoice amounting the month of December itself. This was an interstate transaction on IGST. This is FCM. Will you get credit? Yes, you will. During the month of January, Mr. Dev made his first interstate supply to Tamil Nadu on 4th January. His turnover before making such supply was 15 lakhs. Value of such interstate supply was 4 lakh 50, so he made 4 lakh 50 worth of supply. And this was again IGST because it was made to another state. Telangana is different, Tamil Nadu is different. I hope people realize that. His turnover before uh, exclusive of taxes, payment for the said interstate supply was received on 20th February. Invoice was on 25th January. Let's predict the question time of supply. Guys, this is supply of goods. So I demand payment. Payment is to be ignored. Invoice date was 25th Jan. And due date of invo invoice is whenever the goods were sent uh, on 4th of January. So 4th Jan or 24th, 25th Jan, 4th Jan will be the time of supply. All right, let's see the questions, guys. In respect to services availed by Mr. Dev, which of the following statement is correct? Go down construction service availed from brother-in-law is a deemed supply? No. From son is deemed supply? Yes. So answer is B. Up to which aggregate limit of Dev can continue supply goods without registration within his state if he does not procure any goods or services on which tax is payable under reverse charge? Guys, is he subject to pig's limit? No, because he is in Put Sam, guys. Telangana is Put Sam. Is he an NT Mami? No. So his limit is 20 lakhs. Yes, his limit is 20 lakhs. What is the tax liability for the freight charges? For the freight, he had to pay. Uh, for freight, he had to pay. One minute. 50,000 into 12% IGST. So 6,000 IGST he will have to pay, 6,000 IGST, but not under reverse charge guys, under forward charge, 6,000 IGST. Which of the following statement is correct? Mr. Dev is liable to register in the month of December for receipt of GTA services. Mr. Dev is liable to in the month of January for affecting interstate outward supply. Mr. Dev is liable to register only when his turnover exceeds the threshold limit or last Mr. Dev is not required to register. This is wrong. He is making interstate supply. So before that, he has to be registered. Mr. Dev is liable to register in the month of January for affecting interstate outward supply of goods. So B is the right answer. And the last question of this huge booklet, which is the time of supply of goods made by Mr. Dev during the month of January? Time of supply is 4th January because I demand payment. This was the invoice date. Payment was later. Perfect. Guys, done and dusted. Congratulations. Good job done. 18 case studies and 85 MCQs. I'm so happy we're done with this because this one is something that people avoid. They finish the entire book and they feel now I know GST. What's the point in doing so many? And hence my target was to finish this and I'm so glad we finished them in record time. So good job. What we will do now, I'm just going to stop this recording just one second.